So guys, um, if you haven't noticed, I've been pretty much like radio silent lately and that's because I've been having a lot of problems. Most of it is, it's not mental, most of it is literally like physical, like medically I've been having a lot of problems so I've been getting UTI since I was four years old. And when I was little, they basically told me, well, well, they told my mom, they said, everything is, like, too close together down there. We think we might have to do surgery. What do you think? And she said, well, it's going to get better as she gets older. Everything's going to grow. Everything's going to grow apart. She'll be fine. And I know this is a little TMI for some people. And if it is, don't watch it. Go to one of my other videos or don't watch it all. Like, that's totally up to you. But I'm telling you guys, like, what's going on and being completely 100% honest. Um, so my mom opted out of the surgery route and ever since then I have gotten multiple UTIs a year since I was four years old. So this year alone, I think this is probably my eighth UTI in 2019, which obviously like isn't good. Anyways, I got interrupted by a phone call. Um, but, so I've been having UTI since I was four years old. And for the longest time, like, nobody flagged it or said, have you seen urology or anything like that? Checked my bladder, taken pictures of my kidneys, nothing. So up until probably, I'd probably say like January 2019, they were like, have you ever seen urology? And I was like, no, I've, I've never seen urology before. And they were like, well, I think we should refer you because you've had so many UTIs. And it's like, it took you guys literally like 15, 16 years to figure that out. I don't, I don't understand. But so they referred me. I went and saw a urologist. He said, well, it's probably just because of your age and it's probably just because of the things that kids do at your age and blah 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 and basically told me if I get any symptoms come in and pee in a cup and they'll you know they'll treat me then or whatever but I scheduled my appointment all the way from January all the way to April for urology so I'm not going to be symptomatic which makes no sense why I scheduled it the way I did like why they made me schedule it the way I did so there's that and then so I stopped like I stopped going to urology because every time that I would pee in a cup I like already would have gone to you know a clinic that we can use here where I live um that's free for my mom because she works for the county and gotten it treated and already and squared away and whatever so I stopped going and then probably a few months ago was it a few months ago by now? Or a month ago. I, when I was having issues before, um, I went and I tried to get into my OBGYN because I was thinking, you know, maybe it's that. Maybe it's something with something's getting in somewhere. And then it got canceled because somebody was having a baby, which was totally fine. But they didn't have availability out until January. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go in my regular doctor because this is just too much. Like, I can't not see somebody so then after that I went in and I saw a nurse practitioner and she was like why has nobody ever tested you for anything or taken images of you or anything like that and I was like I have no idea I've been dealing with this for so long and I literally started almost tearing up in the doctor's office because when you're dealing with something for so long and nobody else sees it's a problem and you just keep being in constant pain and pain and pain. It's it's literally it's it's the hardest thing because you don't know what to do and like your medical providers aren't doing anything to help you. So she said, I'm gonna refer you to urology again because we told her what happened with the other urologist and she said I'm gonna refer you to this specific person because I know that she's good and I know that she wants to help people. Sorry. Keep yourself together. So, I went and saw her. I 
gave some urine for her and I went and had a conversation with her about my symptoms and how often I get urinary tract infections and stuff like that and she was like I want you whenever you feel like you're having you know an infection come in so yesterday I felt like I was having symptoms and it like burned whenever I walked like I couldn't do anything without you know something hurting whether it was pelvic or it was burning or whatever it was so I called today and I went in and they actually caught my urine. They actually had to put a catheter in me to catch my urine because they wanted to make sure it was an absolute clean catch so that they're not getting any other cells from my hands, nothing um, into the specimen. So I literally was laying on the table. They have to insert a catheter into, I want to say it's your urethra, and they have to find your bladder basically go inside your bladder and then everything comes out like you have no control past that point everything just goes through the catheter and literally it was the most defeating thing because I went in there you know took off what I needed to take off I you know my legs are in the position they're supposed to be in and the lady is like trying to find my bladder and she goes in there and she's like oh I let me try this again I, I can't find your bladder and when I had gotten like a pelvic exam, they had told me that everything inside my body isn't straight. It's all curved. So it's, it's just very, it's a fact to know about yourself, but it can be very defeating in this case because she pulled another nurse in. This nurse couldn't find my bladder either. And then she pulled another nurse in. So they're prodding at me more than once. And not that it was like super painful because it wasn't, but it's still like, I'm sitting here letting somebody probe at me because I don't know what the hell is wrong with me and it's taken 16 years, 15, 16 years to do this. Are you kidding me? So then she finally got into my bladder, everything came out and whatever. And then since it's a holiday, so I'm filming this video on Tuesday night. So Thanksgiving is two days from now since so it's going to be a holiday. They have to send my urine specimen in for a culture and then they'll let me know the results but they're going to be closed Thursday, Friday. So they... Girl, my food is done. Well, my food wasn't done so that was a rip off. But so they went in with a catheter had to get three nurses to find it. Finally found it. I just hear my urine start spewing and you don't feel anything. So it's like the weirdest thing. And I just felt so defeated because, like I said before, it took this long. And it took three people to find my bladder. So, like, what else is there in my body that I don't know about that's, like, kind of abnormal? And I know that everybody else is different. And they told me that, like, nothing's wrong with you. Everybody's different. But, like, what was it that they did not want to keep investigating on with my health issues, you know? So I got that done and she's like, okay, you know, you have to wipe yourself because they use this like cleansing stuff that's like yellow and whatever and to make sure that there's no germs and all that stuff. And um, so she's like, okay, you know, use this to clean yourself off and blah, blah, blah. And then I had a conversation with the nurse practitioner in urology and she said, we're actually going to prescribe you something now because of the fact that we just dipped your urine and we are finding multiple white blood cells, which they've told me often and have not treated me for, have not investigated on. And then they said, we have also found a significant amount of blood in your urine. Now, when there's blood in your urine, sometimes you can't see it. If there's a significant amount, like a lot, I've had it sometimes where I pee in a cup and there's so much blood that it's red. So sometimes there's just not that much where you could actually see it. So my urine was like cloudy and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I, I know that there's something wrong. Like everything's hurting. I have to go in. So she's like, we're going to prescribe you something now. And that's what this little pills are um, for the next seven days, twice a day. I have to take them again. And I swear to God, I've been on like 
everything that you can think of for UTIs. I've had a back drum separa something, and then there's another one too. And then there's an even stronger one that I've also been put on over the years. And you would think after all this time they would like put me on an antibiotic to like prevent this infection from happening or you know take a look because they're looking at doing a cystoscopy on me which is where they take a camera and they go up and they look inside my bladder to see what's going on in there and to see um, if there's anything abnormal in there um, as far as like my bladder's wall and everything like that so that's where I'm at but I just like this is why I haven't been making videos because I've been dealing with all of this and being in pain and like not being able to edit videos Do, like it takes me 30 about say I click something it takes about 10 minutes for it to stop loading go to click on something else mouse stops starts loading again like my computer's trash so editing these videos is really a labor of love for you guys and when things like this are going on in my life I just I don't I don't I don't physically like have time and it makes me so sad because I want to have time I want to post videos I want people to see my content and stuff like that it's just so hard and then you know pageant stuff has been coming up and I'm trying to like I'm trying to focus on that and like building my platform and stuff like that but with this health stuff going on, it's hard to focus on anything except for the fact that, like, I have to get to work. And that's pretty much all my life has been. So, yeah. And, like, I got excruciating pain in my back last night. Like, it started from my left and went all over the lower towards the upper part of my back. And I couldn't move. I couldn't straighten my back. I couldn't breathe. Like... It lasts for about 10 minutes, and that's happened to me one other time when I was driving. And I just, like, I want people to know that if you're struggling with something medically, mentally, like, you are not alone on this. Like, there are so many people that are going through things, and they walk through life every single day. And have a smile on their face, and they might be the nicest person that you know, but inside, like, they are going through something. And they don't want to burden people with this stuff, especially around, you know, this time, like the holidays. So, I felt like I need to tell you guys why, like, why I haven't been posting as much. Because it's not, it's not fair. And I have people, I have a couple people messaging me saying, oh, do this, do that, do this, do that. And I want to do all that stuff for you guys. But this has been taking such a toll on me. And I'm trying to apply for school at the same time. I have to submit my stuff. I have to finish my FAFSA. Like, it's insane. And I wish that I had somebody just kind of, like, on me to, like, tell me, okay, I know you're hurting, I know you're in pain, but while you're in pain, so you're not focusing on, can you do this, can you do that, can you do this, can you do that? Because, like, right now, my back just hurts. And I feel weird because I just had a catheter in my urinary tract and I just don't know what to do. And like I said before, I just want people to know they're not alone in this stuff. Because it's so hard to feel like you're not, you know. Because my, you know, my mom doesn't know what to do. She's not a doctor, so she's like... Okay, make an appointment do this do that and I'm like okay you know and she's looking up natural remedies for me to feel better and I just feel like there's days when I feel like I'm not gonna make it through the day because I don't know what's going on with my body and I feel like I'm gonna die and then there's other days when I feel great and fine and I'm thinking why am I doing all this stuff like I got a CT scan uh, last week and I had contrast put in my body and stuff like that and they were like drink a lot of water to get the contrast out, it's not good for your kidneys, blah blah blah. And I did all that and then literally the day after I got some type of head cold and I've been dealing with that so it's just one thing right after the other and I want people to understand that I'm not ignoring this. I love Oh my god, I'm so tired.
fun. I love making videos and I love making content and checking out makeup. Like I cut my mini controversy palette and my liquid lip that from the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collection. And I wanna show you guys that. I wanna show you so bad. But it's like there's just not enough time in the world ever for all this. And if things went medically with me could like just stop for a second. So I could breathe. I would love that. But unfortunately, I can't choose that for myself. And I want, like I said, I want you to know what's going on. So that's what's going on. That's me. I'm drinking lots and lots of tea almost every single day. Whether it's a mug like this or it's one of my regular size mugs that are like about half this size. I'm trying my best to keep myself healthy and you guys should do the same especially during the holiday season Thanksgiving is two days away and today it was one of those days where I just like god I wish I could just do something for myself and I was talking to my mom and I was like I feel so bad doing something for myself though because you know holidays are around the corner and I'm trying to get Christmas presents together and I already have two people done and I need like four other people done and it's just a lot. And then my mom was like, you need to go do something for yourself. So I went and I got my nails done. Um, but like, self-care during the holidays is really important. I can't stress that enough. Um, but if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it if you did. Um, if you didn't like this video, no big deal. It's really boring. You don't want to hear about all my drama and all of the things that are going on in my life. No big deal. Um, I would love for people to make urinary jokes in the comments because that is hilarious and I want something to make me laugh rather than cry like I was just doing in front of the camera. Um, but I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Happy Thanksgiving because by the time you see this it'll probably be A Thanksgiving or B probably like Black Friday. So what the heck? How did we get here already? Um, I'm super super excited to eat some turkey with my family and just spend some time. I would love to do a Thanksgiving vlog but like... Some of my family is, like, real touchy about having their kids filmed. So I'll see what I can do with that. Um, but I love you guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Happy Thanksgiving.